hello guys very welcome back i will see how the pakistan has got diplomatically isolated with the action of us that is special watch list what is special watch list now it's a list of us government of countries which violated the religious freedom okay now pak is notoriously famous for for a violation of the religious freedom of minorities okay so minority don't enjoy much freedom in law there are blasphemies laws against those who insult islam and majority use rather majority misuse against minorities okay minorities are lynched using this blasphemy is law for various reasons for if there is any land dispute and there is a minority involved there majority use blasphemy law to eradicate the dispute okay the witch hunt the minority now seeing all this pakistan was put into the special watch list now you must be knowing that pakistan received in fact used to receive 1.15 billion us dollars to fight the terrorists and this was not loan this was aid once pakistan was put into swl us stopped this aid one of the cases is the asia bb case where pak supreme court said that asia bb a christian this was a local dispute and there are no evidences and hence pak supreme court said asia bb is innocent the majority grew so unsettled with the with the supreme court decision that they immediately wanted asia bibi dead asia bibi was removed to a undisclosed location majority of catholic countries were ready to accept asia bibi now this special watch list the pakistan's in the gray list of fatf proves the india's claim it vindicates the india's claim that pakistan does support the terrorist organization and the minorities are not free masood azhar the head of jaish e mohammed who has done and who has masterminded various terrorist attack in india india is pressurizing the world that he must be put into 1267 sanctions list of security council but every time china is vetoing out this so that was all about the special watch list and how the world has now understood that pakistan is a rogue state and what the army is doing and what pakistan is doing by supporting the terrorist organization is not at all good just for india but also for the world take care bye bye